Back inside Potato Holic, Brian is tidying up the performance area, ever mindful of the health and safety risks posed by a loose potato. Hello, Brian Nisbet. Oh, Rosie, hello, how are you? It's Brian's wife, Rosie, calling from New Zealand. Oh, not so good here too. Uh, just cleaning up after the guy. Yeah, well, Brett yelled out, throw us your potatoes. Well, exactly. So there's a mess everywhere and they've taken off, so here I am cleaning up after them. Have you? What's happened? There's trouble brewing back home in Taranaki. Oh, you're joking me. Trevor. <sighs> Every year this happens. Well, for heaven's sake, have you, how, have you got it out? Is it still in there? I know, I know. Well, I mean, I'm not there now. I can't deal with things when I'm not there, Rosie. Yep. yep. That's right. Get the rugby guys. I'll call you back. Bye-bye. While the band enjoy a meet and eat with their fans, Brian is back home dining alone. But it's a working dinner, because there are important business calls to be made. Oh, hello, sorry. I was just eating a banana. Yeah, yeah, no, I was just on hold. I thought I had enough time for a banana there. Um, yes, yeah, sorry. Did you, so have you heard the demo? Well, they're a band from New Zealand, the two of them. I believe. Hey, sorry, mate. Look, hang on. I've actually got someone coming through on the other line. Hang on a tick. Hello? Brian's wife Rosie calls again. Oh, hello, Rosie. From the Taranaki Tavern on the other side of the world. Uh, what's happened? Oh, you're joking me. Oh, no. What? So there's beer filling up on the floor. Oh, my God. Well, so what are you going to do? Sorry, look, I'm just eating a banana. Yes, exactly. Coax it out. Perhaps bring us something red down and, and wave it. Get it to come towards you or something. Get it to chase you out of there. Yep, give that a go and call us back. God. All right, bye-bye. Hello, you're still there? Sorry about that. Um, so how did you find the, the demo? Okay, well, well, thanks anyway. Yeah. Um... Brian's wife, Rosie, calls again from the Taranaki Tavern on the other side of the world. Hello? Oh, Rosie. What's happened now? You've shot it. What gun? Oh, my God. Well, that, yeah, that's his prize bull, Rosie. Yeah, I know. Well, I guess it was the uh, all you had left to do. Trevor. Yes, it's Brian. Yes, hello, Trevor. You're angry. Yeah, I'm sure you are angry. You've nearly ruined my pub, haven't you? Yeah, well, good on her, I say. Don't you come down on her. She's just a... What? Don't you call her that. She's my wife, Trevor, and you're just taking advantage. You know I'm not there. If I was there, you'd last five minutes. Remember what happened last year? You know what happened. What? What are you, what are you talking about, you idiot? You shouldn't have your bloody bull in the pub! Yeah, what a great birthday. What an idiot. Yeah, the only time you come to the damn pub is on your birthday. Why don't you come during the year, open mic night or something? Oh, no, wait till my birthday and turn up with the bull. Well, it's bullshit. That's what it is, Trevor. And now you've got a dead one on your hands. Oh, no one's going to pay for it. We're going to sell the meat in a raffle. I'm that angry. And if you maybe turn up during the year when the raffles are on, you might win a bit of it back.